Hello everybody, it's Jeff with AZ Camera Reviews and today we're going to be talking about this device. It's called the 8mm and Super 8 uh, Movie Maker Pro. And basically what this is for is transferring 8mm and Super 8 home movies that a lot of people used in the 40s, 50s and 60s and digitizing them and making it so that you can edit them in your own home edit program and make videos and all kinds of fun stuff like that. Put them to music, whatever. So uh, let's see kind of what's in the box. Um, this is the front and this is the back of the box. Okay. And uh, I guess we'll open it from the back because the top will flip back. So we'll open it up and we've got foam here and inside the foam is a is a take up reel as you can see and then right here is two adapters uh, I think for eight millimeter and uh, super eight reels so that you can adapt them to this like I said I haven't used this yet I'm just opening it so um, okay then inside we've got the machine itself you can see here and uh, let's just pull it out and see what we got okay so this is the main body this is the main machine let's pull out the plastic so you can see what we got you've got um, the actual unit itself as you can see and uh, there's a little LCD screen for viewing and this little arm right here flips up so you you would put your your film on here and there's also a a little thing right here and i don't quite know what that is that's probably some sort of a clutch or something so that this doesn't spin too fast then on the top of this you've got you've got some other controls you can see right there and um, let me let me show you a close-up of those okay so so there's that and then down here there's a film gate and um, I'll try to get you a little tighter shot of that in here okay and um, and then you have your various take ups and stuff like that so okay so that's this one piece and oh by the way in the back you've got um, a thing here it's for TV out and that would probably be um, if you want to take video out of this and then it also has a DC input and it has a place for an SD card and it looks like it's an old-fashioned type USB now let's see what else is in the box okay oh boy you've got all kinds of accessories here let's see what's in here okay it looks like let's see open this up you've got a a cleaning cloth which I know all of you could not live without this I mean this thing this is worth the, the whole the whole package in itself just being sarcastic anyway uh, you've got um, the cords You've got your USB and then you also have uh, your video cord uh, because you know you're not going to have any audio on this. So, um, so here's your, um, uh, your video. You, the video comes out of the machine um, on this plug and then you've got a regular RCA out. It's too bad it doesn't have an HDMI, huh? Then um, you've got um, a film gate cleaner in here and you also have they've included an SD card which is kind of nice and then you also have a user's manual let's see if it's in color nope it's only in black and white unfortunately and let's see what else we got here we got one more thing we've got the power supply so I'm gonna read up on this real quick I'll be back in a minute after I set it up and we'll see how it works. 
okay so I finally have it all set up I have um, my framing and everything all set on it I um, I realized that my take up reel I think um, when I when I put the film back on the reel originally this is all old cartoons that my dad had put together for me uh, I guess what it was it was r rolled back up on the reel backwards so I need to watch and make sure that it doesn't fall off uh, but it was able to go on to the uh, the recorder really really easy so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in on a tight shot so you can basically see how this thing works but the one thing that I did notice is it runs very very slow so it's probably gonna take hours for this to to uh, actually record uh, one thing that I also want to tell you is you can only use a 30 gigabyte or less card in this uh, machine if you use anything bigger it won't record so let's go in for a tight shot and I'll show you how it works so you can see I have it set up here and what you have to do is you have to follow the actual solid line of the setup when you're going to do a record when you do a rewind you'll use the dotted lines but when you're going to do the record you have to run it through this way now one thing I want to tell you is is there's a couple little tabs on here that you have to put the film underneath in order that it lays flat now when you want to actually start recording what you want to do is you want to hit the OK button and it says to adjust this whether or not it's 8 millimeter or Super 8 film then you'll hit it again and it says please wait and then it'll start recording now you'll notice the picture is flipping but actually what it's doing is it's only capturing the frame when it's when it's centered in the gate so you're not going to get any of that flipping motion it looks pretty good I'm going to also show you a couple other things right now I'll go in a little bit tighter if I can and show you what some of the other controls are so I'm going to stop this and we'll go in for a close-up okay so if you want to get into the actual adjustments on this there's a couple of them what you're going to do is you're going to hit the menu button and then it says exposure it says sharpness it says USB and you can toggle through the different things there's a frame adjust there's your language there's the format uh, there's the default settings film type version of the software I guess and record playback and let's see let's go and then there's rewind so we're back at exposure now so let's hit OK now you can go negative 1, negative 1.5, negative 2 and I think that's about as uh, as low as you can go and then you can go up to uh, negative 5, 0, uh, 0.5 which would be half a stop, one stop, one and a half stops, two stops. Now the thing that I found is with this piece is I needed to go about negative five. So then what I'll do is I'll hit OK. And then you can go into your um, down to like, oops, you can go down to sharpness and you can hit OK and then you have low, medium and high. And I wanted to have the higher sharpness on this. So I'm going to hit OK then um, I'm not gonna deal with the USB um, frame adjust this is kind of a neat one this one will allow you to adjust up and down side to side and what the width of the actual frame is so what I would say is I would start on the width and get your width right first and then what I would do is I would adjust the X and the Y on it so that it totally fills the frame and then you hit OK okay that basically uh, said that I can adjust my X so I'm just gonna hit uh, 
okay and then i'm gonna hit menu nope there we go and now you can see it's basically all set so now when you're ready to start what you're going to do is you're going to hit OK. OK, and this little menu comes up. Hit OK. And then it'll say, please wait. And then it starts recording. Now I'm going to let it record for just a couple of minutes. And then what we'll do is we'll see what the playback looks like. And we'll go from there. Okay, now this has been running a couple of minutes. This is what the shot looks like in a little better close-up that I shot with my iPhone. Now something I want you to take note of is in this frame here, you'll see there's a number right over here. Let me go to a close-up of what I shot with my Apple iPhone. And you, now you can see what the, uh, the frame looks like. In the lower right-hand corner, there's a number 00014. Now, every time you stop and start this device, the number in the lower right-hand corner changes. So, okay, so now let's change it. You can see now it says 15 because I stopped and started it one more time. Let's hit the OK button and stop it. Okay, so now I've stopped it. Let's see what it looks like on the playback. So I'm going to go into the menu and I'm going to scroll through. And I'm going to go to playback and hit OK. And let's hit play, see what happens. There we go. Now it's playing. It looks pretty good. It flickers a little bit. But then again, that's what ends up happening with eight millimeter film. But at least the picture is stable. The light changes, but then again, it's an old black and white movie. But I think for the most part, the picture is pretty good. So there you have it. It's a nice little machine. I mean, it's not like the quality you may get at a store or whatever, but at least you're saving money and you can do it at home. Uh, it puts out pretty good uh, quality. I've just checked it with, uh, with this black and white, but I'll have to check a little bit further uh, with some color film. So I guess I give it a thumbs up. Um, I wouldn't quite give it a five, but I'd probably give it a four, which is good. I mean, it, it does the job. It does what it's supposed to do. It's just, I wish I had a little more controllability as far as a manual focus, as opposed to an electronic focus. I wish I could put a, a little bigger card in it. Um, it's nice because it does have the playback so you can see what you're doing afterwards. You can stop it, so on and so forth. Don't forget that the little number here in the corner is how many times it's been turned on and off. So when you get it, take note when you first turn it on what the numbers are in the lower right hand corner. Uh, like I said, you can do both 8mm and Super 8 film, which is also a nice feature. Uh, other than that, uh, pay particular attention as to how you thread the actual film when you when you put it through the gate and make sure that the gate is clean. So until next time, I'm Jeff with AZ Camera Review saying, please watch us, please like us, please share us. Most of all, hit that button down below and please, please, please subscribe. Bye-bye.